Hey guys, I was building this coop and I said, you know what, let me stop right there and make a quick little video. All right, so I decided to make this quick little video because a lot of you guys do ask me or request if I sell plants for these chicken coops that I like to build. Uh, the short answer is no, plants don't exist. I kind of build all of these individually to whatever clients need. So sometimes they're a little bit longer, wider or deeper or even taller. So certain plants don't exist. I just kind of build everything from scratch. Although my most popular size, it's a three and a half by six foot coop. It's intended for about 12 hands, but I, I wanted to show you kind of the skeleton. I'm building two at the moment right now. And I thought I would take this opportunity to just kind of give you a glimpse at what one of these looks like underneath all the walls, trim and the facades. I have all my other individual parts here on my walls, the siding all painted. I started painting really early this morning because it gets really windy here where we live. So I got to painting right away and I was about to start doing the, the siding on these walls. And then Kelly walked by and she said, you better film a video. No, she didn't, she didn't force me to do it. I, it was my idea, but I was like, you know what? Let's show the viewers. Just kind of give, give them a little glimpse of what this looks like. So like I mentioned already, this coop is a three and a half deep by six foot wide they typically send that about five feet here at the top uh it's sitting on two foot legs or if you want to be specific i cut them at 23 inches not 24 inches it's an inch shorter than two feet but um it's got linoleum flooring there on the floor the base of it like i said is three and a half by six the actual housing for the hens is a foot shorter so technically speaking you got three and a half by five the nesting boxes here on the side could give you that extra foot being a six foot coop. Um, pretty standard here. Um, you got your stud walls. And if you have any basic knowledge of um, building anything like a shed or any wall, then you can just kind of take that information you have, just kind of bring it a little smaller. It's a miniature shed essentially. Um, you know, if your typical studs go every 16 inches here, uh, these ones right here are at about 12 and a quarter inch apart just because that's how far apart my nesting boxes are. But somewhere along the back, you can go anywhere between, you know, 16 inches on those studs back there. Uh, these might be 18. Like I said, it's always different. It's never the same thing. That's why plans don't even exist. I don't have a notebook or anything. And anytime I build a, a new coop, I would start with just some parchment paper or construction paper. And you should really see my drawings. It looks like a little kid drew them. So I'm even embarrassed to post them or to try and sell them to anyone because um, I'm just kind of self-taught. I'm not a professional builder or anything like that. It just started by me building my own coop for my own hands. And enough of you guys started asking, hey, can I buy one from you? Can you build one for me? And it just kind of snowballed out of control and I'm building chicken coops. But just kind of some people do ask if I can sell them plants because their dad or their husband is a builder so if, if they already have some sort of general knowledge on how to build things wanted to kind of show you a quick glimpse of what the skeleton of the coop looks like because i bet you that they can build it maybe even better than myself but um there it is in a nutshell everything is customizable so if my walls are 36 inches tall maybe you want four foot walls or maybe you want your coop to be four feet wide not three and a half foot deep you know like mine is three and a half foot deep but maybe you want yours to be four foot deep so just kind of do a little bit of math get your own measurements customize it to your own but there it is there's no top secret stuff here it's just it is what it is here's my skeleton of the coop so you can customize everything about it you can make these wider you can make it taller you can add an extra stud in between if you want this is just the way I do it this one right here sitting there for uh, my um, roosting bars that will eventually expand across the entire coop so it'll have two large roosting bars that go across there that would be big enough for about 12 hands maybe even a little bit more depending on your breed chickens that you have but um, some people ask me hey how do you do the slant roof on these coops and you kind of have a really basic idea here my back wall my side walls are one height my front wall is a little bit taller so then when you go ahead and do your rafting on it you're gonna have that sloped roof. So it's gonna angle back and whenever it rains or snows or whatever, the rainfall could fall backwards. 
you, of course you give it a little overhang, but I do have some videos on specific things on building a chicken coop. So some of them might be on your roofing. Some of them, some of them might be on your nesting boxes. Some of them are on how to build roosting bars for your chickens. And you can find those all in a playlist. It'll be called like DIY chicken coops or something. Just go in the description of our video. I'll link it there. Browse through our catalog of videos that I've done. I haven't done a beginning to end video, but like I said, we have several videos on specific parts about the chicken coop. I almost wasn't gonna build, uh, create this video, but I figured, you know what? I'm already at that stage where I'm gonna start putting siding on it. Let me show you guys what the skeleton looks like, and then you can kind of make your own, customize it. The big opening here, if you don't see a stud right between me, that's because it's gonna be the large clean out door for the human door that I call. So you can swing that wide open, come in here and rake out all your shavings. But yeah, everything about this coop is customizable. I have my big clean-out door in the front. Some people want it on the side, and that's fine. If you want to do that, just build yourself a door on the side. My ramp will go right here. Eventually, when I build one of those, it's got a cutout for my automatic chicken coop door. And that's why there's this gap right here. But like I said, you can customize it. You can have this on the side. You can have your nesting boxes on the opposite end. You can have your nesting boxes on the back or the front. Make it your own. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work with your area if it's too wide of a or too narrow of a yard or or you have a fence in the way. Take that into account. But otherwise, there it is in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me, and I'm happy to answer any questions. But at the moment, plants don't exist and they are not for sale. I just don't know how to create plants, but I'm just kind of a hands-on person. I just kind of put my mind to it and I go for it. So if anything, I would encourage you to do a DIY project. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. It's really rewarding for me to do this sort of thing. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Look our, for a description for other videos and keep an eye out for upcoming videos. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video guys. Thank you.